Hello friends, in today's video, let's solve Geeks for Geeks problem of the day, which is minimum time to fulfill all of the orders. So Geek is organizing a party at his house and for the party he needs exactly and donuts for the guests. And Geek decides to order the donuts from a nearby restaurant which is which has L chef and its chef has a rank of R. So a chef with rank R can make a donut in first R minute, one more donut in next two R minutes and one more donut in three R minutes. So for example, if a chef, if a chef has a rank 2, then he can make two donuts. Uh, one donut in two minutes, two donuts in four minutes, three donuts in twelve minutes. Right in total, twelve minutes. So it takes twelve minutes to make three donuts. Correct. A chef can move on to work, uh, move on to making the next donut only after completing the previous one. There is a constraint, and all the chef can work simultaneously. So we need to find the minimum time required to complete and donuts. Right. And return an integer noting the minimum time. So this is the case. This is first case. Okay, let me go down to one node. Uh, n equal to 10, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to make how many donuts? 10 donuts. How many chefs are available? 4. What are the ranks? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right. So now, uh, uh, what is the uh, what is answer for this case? Answer is 12. Right. In 12 units, in 12 unit, uh, in 12 units of time, the first chef can make 4 donuts. The second chef can make 3 donuts. The third chef can make how many donuts? Two, right? Probably yes. Uh, yeah. So four donuts, three donuts, two donuts, and in the and the fourth chef can make a donut in twelve minutes, right? Yeah. See. Uh, so how many donuts we have? Ten, right? But actually, see, uh, a chef has a rank of one, two, three. Uh, chef has a rank of one, two, three, four, right? Now th let's consider the for the first case, first chef. How many maximum donuts he, he or she can make in 12 minutes, right? So assume how, how would we sol solve that, right? So a chef can make a new donut one, uh, first donut in one minute, second donut in two minutes, third donut in three minutes, and fourth donut in four minutes, right? Now if I calculate the sum, it is 10, right? Now see, if I include, if I try to make one more donut, it would take five minutes for the chef, right? And 10 plus 5 would be equal to 15, right? So that would that means that 15 minutes would be required to make 5 donuts. But we have only 12 minutes to make the donut, right? So that means that a first chef can make maximum of 4 donuts in the given time. Let's consider second chef. Second chef can make 2, uh, two uh, uh, sorry, first, uh, for first donut in 2 minutes because his rank is 2. See, if you first understand the question, you are told that a chef can a chef with a rank R can make one donut in first R minutes and two donuts in two R minutes, three donuts in three R minutes. Correct. So first donut in uh, R minutes, then second donut in two R. So two into R is two into two is four. Then third donut in two in uh, th three into two six. So how much is the sum? Let's calculate. It is twelve already, right? Now see if I try to make one more donut, then I would have to increment it, right? Because I have to make four donuts and four donuts can be made in four into two eight minutes. So then, then, then I would require 20 minutes, right? But 20 minutes would again exceed my threshold, right? So that means I could make only maximum three donuts, right? This can make only four donuts. So we have fi we are finding the maximum maximum donuts a chef can make in the given time, correct? So the first chef can make four donuts, second chef can make three donuts. Now let's talk about third chef. What is the rank of the third chef? Three. So he can make three donuts in first second, uh, three first minute. Um, uh, sorry, three in first donut can be made in three minutes, right? Second donut in six minutes. Now, see what is the sum nine. Now, if I try to inc uh, make one more donut, then my answer would be able to be incremented by nine. That would be eighteen minutes, right? But I, my as I told you, that my threshold is twelve only, right? I have only twelve minutes to make all the donuts. So that means that third chef can only make two donuts maximum. Uh, see what we are finding: the maximum donuts, maximum donuts a chef can make chef can make in t time okay and a chef has a rank of r right so this is what we are finding as of now to i am explaining you the test case and the fourth chef let's consider fourth chef the fourth chef can make one donut then he can make two or two donut also right second donut also so that means now it is 12 now i cannot make one any more donuts right so in total fourth chef can make maximum of two donuts so in total how many donuts we made 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 right so in see i could make 11 donuts right in 12 minutes in 12 minutes i could make 11 donuts right so and what was the what what was the number of donuts chef had ordered 
Chef has ordered 10 donuts, right? And see, I could, I could make 11 donuts. That means that, yeah, we are uh, good to go with and the minimum time is 12. See. Okay. Now, now, let's understand how could we solve this problem. See, I could, see, I have given you the intuition. See, uh, I am given the number of donuts to be made, right? Order. And I am given also rank of the, uh, I am given number of chefs and I am also given some rank array means the number of donuts that that could be made by the chefs right let's say let's say i am i am also given time see we need to find the minimum time right we need to find minimum time so what i could do see i could i could do two ways right see i i, am st I will start iterating from time t equal to 1 then i will check how many donuts i how many donuts all of my chef if they work simultaneously are able to make it right then i would do for similarly for two time t equal to 2 then time t equal to 3 then dot 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 whenever i find a time when i am able to make more than 10 donuts or e more than or equal to 10 donuts then i would break and i would return my time what is the minimum amount of time then so i am starting from the lowest value see i am starting from the lowest value i am start started iterating from the lowest value t equal to 1 t equal to 2 t equal to 3 and similarly in the above case as i explained you in the above case how can we find the number of donuts See, we, I am given the rank, right, and I am given also the time. So I will, I will, I will count. I will count how many donuts this chef can make in the given time, right? I can count it easily. It is a for. I, I will require only a single loop, right? So yeah, and I would start iterating from one, two, three, and then I would return t whenever I find that my count of donuts that could be made by all of the chef exceeds the order, exceeds or is equal to the order. Okay. See, see, this is one approach. This is the first approach. Now, see. Uh, could you observe one more one very uh, I would say common time or common type of pattern see I am iterating from t equal to 1 t equal to 2 t equal to 3 t equal to 4 dot 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 let's say I am this is a int max okay I am iterating from t equal to 1 right now let's assume let's assume that at t equal to 10 at time t equal to 10 I am able to make 10 donuts at t equal to 10 all of the chefs if they work simultaneously then they are able to make 10 donuts right now see at t equal to 11 definitely definitely all of my chefs would make the how many make count would be definitely greater than or equal to 10 because at the previous moment at the previous moment when time was less time was less than the current time the chef was the chefs were able to make 10 donuts right now at time t equal to 11 there is a possibility that yeah there is a possibility that my count count of donuts that i could make would increase or rather it would stay the same similarly similarly for t equal to 12 my make count would be greater than or equal to 10 why see at t equal to see when i have 10 minutes i could make 10 donuts right now i have 12 minutes then i could make definitely more than 10 more than or equal to 10 donuts depends on the rank and the given con constraints in the question right so that means i could see a, i would say a sort at kind of order i would say increasing kind of thing right and whenever we uh, see something like this uh, or i would say monotonic behavior monotonic behavior see now at see if i consider backwards right at t equal to 9 see i am see i am saying that at t equal to 10 i am able to make 10 donuts right now at t equal to 9 i could also make I could have also made 10 donuts, but I could not make more than 10 donuts, right? It would be definitely less than 10, less than or equal to 10 at t equal to 9 minutes, if I am, if I have given 10, 9 minutes, okay? So I am, I am seeing that there is a monotonic behavior in the time, right? Monotonic behavior. Monotonic or I would say a increasing behavior. That means whenever I am given more time, I can, I could make more donuts, right? More time equal to more donuts. Right. So whenever there is a case of monotonic or an increasing behavior, one algorithm comes to my mind, which is binary search. Right. So how would how how is it applicable to this question? Let let us solve that. Let us find out that. I am see I am taking the first test case only. I am I have to make ten donuts. I have four chefs and what are their ranks? One, two, three, and four. Okay ranks are 1 2 3 and 4 now what i could do see i could have see uh, as i told you that now we have to solve this using binary search why because we require my minimum amount of time either we could do a linear search linear search would take order of n square time 
right for first i would iterating start iterating from first uh, one two i would take time t equal to one two dot 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 till uh, till i reach my threshold till i find out that my the count of the donuts made is greater than the required right and another approach is binary search and it would take log and log n time correct now see what i could do i can i could have two pointers low equal to zero high equal to n minus one or i would say maximum minus one so this indicates my time see if i give yeah if i give you 12 minutes how many donuts how many maximum donuts you can make so this is a black box i would say black box function in in my binary search algorithm which would give me see if i tell you that i have 12 minutes i would return you the maximum i uh, maximum amount of donuts that i could make out of that 12 minutes correct and see if i have if i give you 10 minutes how many maximum donuts you could make right so if i find out that if i if at 12 minutes i am able to make let's say 12 donuts right assume that then i then i could see my 12 is definitely increasing greater than or equal to the required order order was of 12 geek has ordered 10 donuts right geek ordered 10 donuts now 12 is greater definitely greater than or equal to 10 right so that means that there is a possibility that if i reduce my time if there if i if i reduce my time then i could yeah it would give us me minimum time then at t equal to 11 let's say i am taking i am able to make 11 donuts still it is greater than 10 then i would go for t equal to 10 and let's say now t equal to 10 is my threshold so and yeah it is able to make 10 donuts now now when i go for t equal to 9 assume that it is make, uh, the chef are able to make 9 donuts only then then, then my answer would be 10 why because it is the minimum minimum time required to make the given number of donuts or at least this number of donuts n equal to 10 correct and which are the given constraints so i i hope it is clear to you let me quickly code it down yeah it is a binary simple binary search algorithm and we as i told you we would require two variables low and high okay i i already uh, solved uh, solved this problem prior to this so let me show you the code and directly so that it doesn't waste the time so i'm starting from uh, low equal to 1 time t equal to 1 right because at time t equal to 0 i would not definitely not able to make this is an edge case means see at time t equal to 0 i i could make none of on zero donuts right and the, we are given that my donuts count is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to some probably 1000 if you see the constraints okay so i am starting from one and i am uh, see i have my maximum variable high variable at max right and see this is a black box function see i am checking if i am able to make and donuts in this mid mid is my time mid amount of time with given constraints means with, with given rank of people and if it is possible then i would uh, switch my high pointer to mid minus one and my answer would be mid and finally i would return my answer and elsewise i would increment my low pointer to mid plus one so let's see the black box function see in black box function i have variable can equal to 0 now i am iterating through my array which is given of ranks right now uh, how many donuts i could make see my i could see what i am doing over here l was 1 2 3 4 4 first case right see i am let's say my time is 10 so i am started i am starting i am iterating over this loop right now for 1 Let's say chef number one, rank one. How many donuts I could make? See, I am I I am solving this loop. One in the first minute I could make one. Then in the second minute I could make two. Then in the third minute I could make third donut. In the fourth minute I could make four donut. Right now I could not make one more donut. Right because I, elsewise, see the sum of this is the time taken. Sum of this is the time taken. It is already ten. Now I could not make any more donut. So this is the same thing I am checking in this loop. Right. see i am starting from rank of i and till my i am iterating till my sum is less than or equal to time right sum plus j is less than or equal to time and else i would increment my j pointer right and i am incrementing my can can variable so and finally if my if i could make more the more number of donuts than what is required in the order more or equal then i would return true correct so this is simple binary search code i would paste the code in the description below and in case if you have any doubts understanding this question Uh, comment it down and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you